everyone, so I'm back for another video and today's video is going to be about my top 5 concealers that I just love a lot basically. Um, I do have 3 high end concealers and 2 drugstore concealers. The reason why I don't have a lot of drugstore concealers is because one, there's not that many like shades for my skin tone or even deeper skin tones which I just absolutely hate. But yeah, that's the first bit. And then the second bit, there's not that many that I've come across that have my skin tone, but that are really good and do not crease, because that's really, really important for me that a concealer does not crease as much under my eyes because I have so many wrinkles here. Um, but yeah, these are the, my top five favorite concealers and I do recommend them to anyone. They're just really amazing and yeah, we'll just go straight onto it. So my number one concealer, my favourite, favourite, favourite concealer ever is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I'll do a close up for you guys, but basically I'm in the shade Medium Dark Warm and this is the best concealer ever. Like I'm not even joking you guys, it's just seriously so amazing. I mean, it does not crease, it just, it just... It's just so good. I just love it so much. This is like my baby right here. I also use it as a um, primer for my eyeshadow and it's just completely amazing. It does not crease my eyeshadow. It really helps um, to keep my eyeshadow in place and I have wrinkles on my eyelids. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with me. I have wrinkles everywhere. But basically, if I don't put like a good primer, my eyeshadow creases throughout the day and it looks so ugly. But when I've been using this, I mean, I, I tested it out when I went to work and I put a bunch of eyeshadow on my on my eyelids and I was so shocked. I did not have to like rub my eyeshadow in. It did not crease at all for the whole day. It just stayed in place. It's just so amazing. So if you can pick this, this um, concealer up, I definitely recommend it. I mean, it is a bit, it is a high-end concealer, but I totally think that it's worth the money. It, I got it for around £15 with student discount so if you have uni days because you're a student in the UK you can get a discount from House of Fraser where you can get Urban Decay or otherwise I think it's around the £17 or £18 which I think it's an alright price for a high-end concealer especially this one. So that is my number one concealer. Um, the rest are not in any particular order. I'm just going to do the high end and then the drugstore. Um, so my second high end foundation that I just really love is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. When I first started out my channel I just kept using this and I, I, I have run out. I've got like the tiniest amount left but I'm in the shade Caramel and this concealer is very good. I mean, I mean, sometimes every now and then if you don't set it well it can crease. With any concealer I do recommend setting it in with a good powder. It can be drugstore or high end. Um, the Laura Mercier powders are quite good apparently. I haven't tried them yet. Um, banana, ben 9 Banana Powder is really good. I tried that one and apparently the Sasha Buttercup powder is quite good as well which I really really want to try soon. And for drugstore powders I like um, the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette but the, the yellow shade. I mean as you can see I've hit pan on this one. But I like that one to set and also the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder um, in transparent I think. So with any concealer make sure to always set it in and this one does a good job at not creasing and it's very full coverage like the Naked Skin Concealer and it's it's just really good. And this price is for £22. It's a bit more expensive but NARS is a great brand. I mean they have good products so... I definitely recommend this one. And then for my third high-end concealer, I do recommend the uh, Makeup Forever Full Cover um, Extreme Camouflage Cream. It's a waterproof concealer. This is what it looks like and I'm actually in the shade, I think it's 7 or 11. I think it's 7. I'm in the shade 7. As you all know, I do like to use lighter shades for my concealer so this wouldn't be the one I would use. I would use the number 7 and this is a darker shade. But I'll write down all the shades in the info box for you guys but basically this is a really good concealer. I just really love it and it's really really good and yeah I've been loving the finish of it it just makes your under eyes look flawless or wherever you want to conceal like a spot or something it's a really good one so I definitely recommend this one now on to drugstore concealers I only have two and um, these are my very favorite drugstore ones and the first one is obviously the LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer I'm in the shade pure beige and this concealer is very creamy and the 
coverage I would say is medium to full. Um, these cost only £5, around £5 I would say, and they have such an amazing colour range. I mean there's a shade for everyone. Some people like to use the darker shades to cream contour, which I would recommend as well. I haven't tried it yet. There you go, it's going flying everywhere. But yeah, as I was saying, it's just such a good concealer. I do also like to use this version of the corrector, the orange one, to colour correct. And there's just there's only good things to say about this concealer. I mean, it's really affordable, great quality for the price you're paying, and it lasts long under the eyes, and it's just, it really covers well and highlights the under eye area, which I love. So, um, definitely love this one. And then my last concealer that I love a lot is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I'm in the shade Dark and unfortunately this is the darkest, sh darkest shade that they have. It's such a bummer because it would be, it would have been great if they had darker shades. I mean that would just be such, so amazing because this can be a bit light for me sometimes and a bit too pink but I still like the formula of it. it. It really sits nicely under the eyes and anywhere where I want to conceal. It's very creamy and full coverage and I think this is around £5 as well which is a very good price for concealer and yeah I've been loving this one as well. So that's just a quick video on my top 5 concealers. I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know if you would like me to continue this type of series if you want me to do my top 5 foundations, my top 5 blushes, my top 5 bronzers. I mean I would love to do that if you guys want to see that so let me know in the comments below. Also I will be trying to post a video every day this week so please leave me suggestions in the info box. I do have a lot from you guys so um, but any suggestion is always helpful so thank you so much for you guys, to you guys who left suggestions in my previous videos and thank you for all the support that you've been giving me. It just means so so much to me. You guys don't even know it. Like it makes me so happy to read your comments and to see the thumbs up and it's just it's just amazing so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and yeah i love you guys all so much and i'll see you next time bye guys